Hey everyone, my name is the Ragamuffin Man, and today we are going to be opening promo packs of Wildlands TCG, a brand new trading card game that made its way across my inbox a few weeks ago now. And once it arrived, I had a bunch of starter decks, I played with friends, and had an absolute blast. I can't wait to get the review of this uh, game published. However, I want to open some of the packs just for footage for the review, and thought, hey, I make YouTube videos, I may as well just open them and make a video out of it because that's what we do. Anyways, let's get stuck into a whole pile of these packs and see what we can get. So I was sent these packs uh, and four starter decks by the team over at Whitelands TCG. Their website is whitelandstcg.com where you can get print and play versions of them. I would highly recommend it. But they also sent me a bunch of the uh, promo packs as well. And instead of opening them all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take three of them. And if you can download the uh, print and play, play some games and let me know your favorite thing about the game down below. I will pick three people using a random generator and I will send you a pack of Whitelands TCG one of the little promo packs. So anyways, well, that means that we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 16 uh, promo packs they open today. I uh, opened one already because I can never wait whenever things like this land and I always have to open them. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get stuck on. I will cut the tops off them and I will be back just to speed the video up a little bit. So there we are. That's the tops cut off all the packs. Let's put these in the bin so I don't have to clean them later. And uh, we will get stuck on. So uh, I'll also use this video as well to kind of go through my feelings on Wildlands as well, or my, at least my initial feelings and just kind of a raw form uh, before I put it together on their proper video. But on the back of these packs, it says Wildlands TCG is a creature focused lane based card game. More information can be found at wildlandstcg.com. So inside these packs, we have a uh, we have utility bag. Uh, we have Mirrored Dracoon, we have Summit Sentry, then we have, oh my goodness, a Blue Bracket Viper with the Foilin. Again, I know a lot of people, uh, and a Full Art Demico Howler Foil as well. I don't know what the, uh, like, if there is a pack breakdown in these because they're all marked as promo. Uh, different packs will have, obviously, a rarity breakdown whenever it comes to, like, a full release. However, uh, these are cards that I've seen in the starter decks. And my goodness, see anything that has like a subtle foil, and I mentioned this in a few other box openings, like the fact that it's just his little face is foil and then like the like the markings in the element. Uh, same here, the little markings in the element and then like, you know, the spines on his back and the eye, like just, oh, subtle foiling is so good. So these are just little five card packs. I'll probably go a little slow uh, while opening them just to kind of talk about the game a little bit. Uh, there we are. Oh, there we have a land as well, foil land. And he, oh, so it looks like it's a double foil, red branch bear. The most adorable card in it, by the way, me and my friend, whenever we were testing this game, uh, immediately just hit awe every time we played a red branch bear. And branch walk canopy, uh, that's like a land card, like a, like a stadium in Pokemon that like affects the field. Um, but one thing I will say about this game, it is fantastic. I have tested so many games this year and played so many different types of trading card games uh, that they start to kind of bleed together after a while, especially when a lot of them use the same mechanics. But this game is so much fun. It is a lane based game, which I've started playing a lot more of lately. Um, I started playing Radlands with my friend as like our opener to our game night pretty much every time we have a game night. So I've started to get used to like lane based combat. But this game is fantastic. It's like the lane based elements. It's a tranquilizer foil. That's a normal foil. And even the normal foils look nice where it's only like the top. It's almost like a reverse foil. Forest thicket. My goodness, the foil in the screen. And the cards feel good as well. Uh, they feel like you would expect from like a premium card game. But yes, uh, the lane based mechanics in this. Uh, Pygmy, Rhino, and Striped Waldaloo. Uh, the lane based mechanics are fantastic. Uh, it's four lanes of three rows. Uh, and you move your creatures up and down uh, and the first to get four off the grid on your opponent's side of the board wins. But there's also like a way of ending the game. There's like a whole end game procedure that means that even though the game might end and you're the one that decked out, you might have a chance to win as well, depending on like how the board is. Uh, so there's like this weird like end game meta game going on. Uh, oh, it's so much fun. Uh, not to mention as well that whenever you're playing the game, Ooh, scouting party and oh, utility bag fuller day. We used the utility bag a lot whenever we were playing our game. Um, it has reactions where you use creatures as reactions as well, so that you're not, you know, your your powerful creatures have a use in the early game. Your weak creatures have a use in the late game. Uh, it, uh, it's it's fantastic. You can really tell they put a lot of thought into this. Um, the mana system is is good fun. We did have to use some dice to manage it though, so I'll bring that up in the review. But it is it's a fantastic game. I'd recommend it to anyone. It's probably one of my top three games I've played this year. 
Uh, it's great. Endless Plains, Nurturing Canyon. Uh, one of the things I'm really looking forward to is replacing some of the cards in the starter deck with the foils from these, because it seems like a lot of these are... Uh, I, I, just as I say that, I get a card I've never seen before. It seems like a lot of these are from the starter decks as well. Muddy Tracks and Live Trap. Uh, the whole idea is this is a game where any card can be used as a resource. Um, whenever you play cards uh, onto the field, you play them at the start of your row normally, uh, and then you move them along, but they can combat other creatures that they kind of bump into. Uh, again, normally there are different rules in the game as you as you play. You can kind of bend the rules with different cards, a la card games. Uh, Warring Leviathan and Deathra Endless Hunger. This is a very strong water pack, eight mana, nine mana. Uh, and these are the attack values at the bottom left. However, whenever two creatures attack each other, you can uh, use a different creature in your hand as like a reaction, and then you add their attack power together. Uh, so you get this kind of like reaction step type thing going on. So if you like have a, a like a, a, a little weak creatures at the start and you get a strong creature out and you really want to get like an early game advantage, you can use that strong creature as a reaction on your weak creature, making them strong. But then the downside is, is that late game, you have less strong creatures. You know what I mean? So there's like a lot of metagame balance uh, and a surprising amount of depth. Scouting party, utility bag foil. Uh, so yeah, it's it's lots of fun. Uh, oh, check this out. This looks beautiful. So as you can see in the background, I'm actually just noticing this now. Oh, double. Oh, unreal. Like I'm just noticing now that in the background, like the number of scratches is the rarity i think because like there's a one scratch promo then let me find some of the other like foils like big foils that's a one scratch one scratch two scratches strive the wild Aloo. three scratches tranquilizer and then uh like four scratches promo so these must be like crazy like these must be like the rare ones i couldn't find anything on the website to do with rarity but it could just be me being silly peckist cloud diver lehan last black main let me double check. So yeah, I just double checked on the Discord uh, and it seems that the number of scratches is the rarity. Like proper packs, whenever they come out, will have different numbers of scratches as the rarity of the cards. Like that'll be the breakdown. So uh, straight from, I think, the creator of the game, one scratch is, uh, uh, is common, I think. Uh, two is uncommon, three is rare, and any higher than that is like higher. Uh, I don't know what the names are, but there we go. So it's, uh, th he mentioned that, uh, yeah, in a pack, you get three cards with one scratch, three with two, one with three, and another with three to five. Oh, so this is like one of the higher ones that you could find in packs. So two four scratch cards. My goodness, that is great. I'm so happy. One, two, three. And then we have a two scratch Mongol Cat and a three scratch Wizened Gorangutan. Uh, yeah, so back to what I was saying, the game does have a surprising amount of depth to it. It is lots of fun. Uh, I would recommend it to anyone. You should definitely try the print and play version. Um, Summit Sentry, Prismatic Rock. Um, I also prefer tabletop to uh, uh, like actual real life tabletop, the tabletop simulator. Uh, so that's why I really like the fact that they do a print and play as well. Uh, Hydrazilla, Razortooth and Endless Seeker. Three packs to go. We've got one, two, three. We've got wet, wet, oh, I cannot speak. Wetted Maw Shark, Warring Leviathan. That's two, three scratch foils. There we go. So you can definitely expect to get two foils per pack. Even though it's only a five card pack, you get two foils. Painted Tapir. They're also marked as promo as well. And a Titan Rose Fall Art. Check that out. So I've been playing a lot of games lately as well that are, that are to do with like wildlife and like zoo games and things like that, like board games. Uh, and so this is definitely up my street. This landed in my inbox at the perfect time for me to just be like receptive to like an animal based game. Uh, Striped Wildaloo uh, Extended Art, that's class. I like the big mohawk extends right through the text box, but the foiling of the text is how you can still see it. I'm probably not capturing it on camera, but still. And a Gilded Bufflecorn. So they're both two scratch foils. That was lots of fun. Um, as I said, I just thought that I would open these um, just on camera. Just a one uh, that give the opportunity to give these away. So make sure you try the game on the website. Let me know what you like most about the game or how your game went or your game experience or anything to do with it. And uh, I'll pick three people from the comment section and I'll send them across uh, a pack. Uh, I'll do like a little spinny wheel thing and like pack the winners uh anyways thank you very much for watching this video make sure to check out whitelands tcg over at whitelandstcg.com and i'll get a full review posted soon hopefully in like a week or so after putting this up but who knows it's youtube time and it's it's weird who knows anyways thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you guys next time